When I take pictures this way, it's really a craft of looking, you know? You're listening with your ears, right? Right, listening with your ears, and before you take the picture, you then look with your eyes. You know, you're using your whole instinctive body, you know? Because there, you know in your camera, in this camera, in this camera here, you have 15 frames. 15 frames, that's all you have. And so, it's a situation where, you know, you've been given a roll of film, and you put it in, you put it in, and then you think, okay, I've got 15 frames, now I have to really look. Let me look around before I start, you know, clacking away, taka, 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 like uh, what digital is. It's just taka, 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 endless, uh, limitless uh, taking of pictures. There's nothing wrong with it. There's a good side of digital and there's also a bad side of it. But I'm saying the craft of photography, for me, really related with how they made their paper. Because for me, there was a, a sense of tradition. And they've kept this tradition since the 1500s. They've not suddenly come with digital paper. Uh, you know, you, 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 the water's digital. You know, I've never heard of water being digital, you know. So, I mean, may, I may be dumb, but at the end of the day, what I've loved about this project is that the sense of tradition is still kept. You know, the pureness and the feeling. So, in my relation of uh, doing photography for the last 27 years, I still keep the tradition and the excellence of, you know, fine-tuning a picture. It's really listen, look, before you click. That's really how I kind of work. Uh, and then once you've really seen the picture of what you want, you're looking for the moment and being precise about it and saying, tack, tack, that's what I want to take. And when you're working with colleagues, let's say, in the factory or the plant, uh, they're working very fast. They're working extremely fast, you know? Now, the thing what I liked about, you know, uh, you know working in all various plants, uh, including Heinenmu, was that they respected the way I worked. You know, they didn't say, oh, uh, where's your digital camera? What I liked about them, they knew that, oh, I have to work with a cable release, uh, there's not much light, I'm using all the available light I can, and they were there to poise for me in certain situations where I had to keep them still for at least two seconds. They have to f hold the frame for at least, you know, two seconds. So, you know, that's really um, what I liked about them because they saw that, oh, this gentleman here, uh, he's a photographer, he's got a craft, and it was respect upon respect, you know? It wasn't, there was no person uh, who would say, Oh, you know, I, I can't stay, you know, two seconds, what's this? Why don't we have a digital camera? It's, it's meant to be really quick, da 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 No, you know, the, the, the attitude changes. You know, it, um, uh, if you look at historical pictures, an attitude changes uh, when a person's got, let's say, a tripod and is in the studio, and then you put the fixed poise, and people c come dressed to their best because they know it's an occasion. You know, that's the difference with this thing. When you work like this, a person thinks, oh, we have a photographer. It's on occasion. So we have to be on our excellence. We have to dress to our best, you know. Not saying it can't happen with digital, but I'm sure that if I took a digital camera and I went, ta, 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 it's okay, he's got it, let's go, you know. Um, but this, I have to set up the tripod, I have to lower it, I have to pull it up, and I have to work very fast. You know, I've got a technique of working very fast. And um, they, you know, one really appreciates that sense of exchange, craft to craft, you know.